streak, and as he mentioned, USD got a layup from Torrey DePerry with four tenths left. Literally, the least amount of time left to catch and shoot, and USD was able to get the win. We are in. You will see SDSU defensively mix in both some man and zone concepts, something they've preached a little bit more this season. Nicola Avila Ambrosi gets the first bucket of the game, though, on a nice cut. What you can see with both of these teams, they do a really good job of moving the basketball. They're very unselfish. There's not a lot of dribbling, but they're really good passing teams. They love to play at the rim. Right? She's always been producing at a high level since a freshman, and now she's a senior. And Grace Larkins, who you mentioned a bit ago, gets her first three of the game. Quick 5 nothing start for the Oats. And Carly did. Duffney, Natalie Mazurik in now for USD. Another quick double, but a Good nice pass. feed down low to Nelson. Layup rattles in. Good awareness by Brooklyn Meyer. That last foul was on Mathewitz, by the way, for SDSU. Kendall Holmes, quick catch and shoot, Man. nails it. Woo! That was a quick trigger. A quick, that five-out motion. Everybody's looking to post up. Everybody's cutting hard. This is an offense that you have to play with pace. Larkin splashes home another three. It's quickly 11 to 2 USD. Here's the aforementioned Meyer weaving through traffic. Kick it out. This is Jenna Hop for three. That's exactly what we were just talking about, right? But that specific play we had never done before. Kendall Holmes and Grace Larkins drew the defenders, and that's why DePerry was open on the cut as Paige Meyer knocks down the mid-range. Jack swinging around, now Byam in the post. Spins toward the middle, gets it to roll in. Mesa Byam taking advantage of an elevated roll this season. Yeah, Byam's done a really good job of getting to the rim and finishing over that left shoulder. That's what she really wants to do. And if USD's going to keep her off the offensive glass, right, got to make sure that she's pushing to that other, other shoulder. Larkin's trying to post up against Meyer. 21 on 21, and the red 21 wins. We talked about their five-out motion, but... Nelson gave her some space, and she took advantage. Yeah, that was a scout report right there. Kendall Holmes backs it back out. Working against Mathewitz, poked away, stolen by Hop. Hop, the bounce up ahead to Nelson, corrals it, puts it in. It's a great job handling the basketball by Tori Nelson. For a high ball screen here, looking for Grace Larkins to attack. Larkins working off the screen, the kick out, Holmes. That one might have been partially blocked. Offensive rebound, Missouri. Back out, Hempy at the horn. Dang. Yes, sir! Okay. Okay, this is what we signed up for, DB. This is why we come here. Second chance, Alexi Hempy takes advantage. Splashdown at the end of one. It doesn't take a ton of talent, but you just got to want it. And USC's a gritty group. So is South Dakota State. They just got to figure out a way to claw back in. Ellie Colbeck. Well, but gets her teammates involved and doesn't do too much outside of her element, but she can really stroke it. Myers skip over to Veloston. Back-to-back -back triples for SDSU. Paige Meyer thought about the three, but pulled back. Good pass. Brooklyn Meyer to Mesa. Buy him plus the foul. It's a great pass by Brooklyn Meyer. Understanding that come over. The double team comes and she sees it for a nice drop down pass. Up ahead, Ellie Colbeck thought about the three. Brooklyn Meyer back nice out. Pass. Colbeck will fire this time and connect. Flicking on all cylinders as they're up eight on the Agtegra scoreboard. They deny ball reversals and they play in gaps. So when somebody puts the ball down the floor, there's always somebody there to see a second defender. Just like that, but that Duffney goes ahead and gets a and one foul. Gets the zero off the score bug in the second quarter here for USD. Kayla Kari saying a little more confidence off the bench. She's found her new role and has thrived in it. Meyer, no double comes, tries with the left and takes advantage. With, with, with Demers in there, they look like they're playing straight up one-on-one. -on -one. When she's not in, looks like they send that double. Hempy has to fire. <laughs> Nearly hits. Paige Meyer comes out of the scrum. Mathewitz in transition. The, the kick. Pass. Velost in corner three. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. That's easy. He's fine and get it out in transition. But Mathewitz gets downhill, sees that Velost in the corner, waiting to catch and shoot. Hop down low, tried to muscle it up. Buy him able to clean it up. Great 
but South Dakota State gets an offensive rebound and gets that second chance opportunity. Larkins, big three for her, her first bucket of the second quarter. Ball screen here to create. Larkins maneuvers, drives, got it up, but had it blocked. All right, thanks, Darren. She did talk to us pregame about wanting to be a little bit more physical because of SDSU's defense, but on offense, Paige Meyer getting right to the bucket. Well, that's what Paige does. She plays uh, not, It's not always finding somebody that's wide open for a catch and shoot three. It's also eating for herself. Grace Larkins comes right back down, splashes home a triple. Meyer spinning with the left. Good defense by Missouri, better offense by Meyer. Working off a screen. Meyer goes under it again. Larkins doesn't shoot. Shot clock under 10. Down low, Natalie Missouri. Got good post presence. It's a great seal by Missouri. 11 points this year. 16 of them are in conference play. Byam with the offensive rebound and the putback. Yeah, just extra effort, right? Here's Nelson on the block, working against Tori DePerry. Little floater in the lane gets the nice touch. A little weird, little awkward coming in. He's like, it's the same for Osterina, except for replacing all the track with the seats, but. He's just happy to be back in coaching, and Tori Nelson is happy to get back in the scoring column. Yeah, doing a good job of moving the ball and different ways to break the zone. And you can shoot it. That's a great zone breaker. Third triple in the ball game for Ellie Kolbeck. Kick out to Holmes, back to Duffney. Duffney on the drive. Got it to rattle and go in. Boy, Duffney's hustle has been a big difference for USD. Yes. Jax yes. working it around. USD's in this zone. They have to identify scores and they have to identify shooters. Let's be back in the man to man. A little top down action there. That's easy. Oh, good pass by Brooklyn Meyer and Tori Nelson just cannot convert. It's a great look. He was caught a little too far down low. Kiefer stops, pops, Man. and hits. Good hit by Kiefer there. Lead down the 10. Paige Meyer driving baseline. Working around. Look at that feed to Brooklyn Meyer. Paige Meyer does a great job of keeping the ball alive. Continues to keep dribbling and allows the defense to kind of settle in. And when you kind of get out of a defensive stance, she's going to make you pay. It's too cold. And there's not <laughs> enough scoring for me. So I stick to basketball. Meyer, the spin. Cannot hit. But she gets her own offensive rebound. Boston, the kick. Hop. Hop, skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, and a jump, and that's a second chance effort there. This big lead for South Dakota State. Nice cut from Grace Larkins back into the game, an instant offense. Meyer down low, doubled, and it doesn't matter. It don't matter. It was too late. She caught way too low. Really beats you from a lot of different aspects playing the game. And you know, just looking forward, right? There's South Dakota State just has, they have a really good incoming class as well, right? They're going to drain this clock as much as they can. They want to get a quality shot. Boston for three. And that's a quality Splash shot. <laughs> and she's the best three-point shooter on this team. Down low. Nice touch by Missouri. Down low to Brooklyn Meyer, spins, hits, and the foul. It's just a high percentage shot. <laughs> just phenomenal, right? She gets a deep touch, one, two, simple crab dribble. For the most part, USD has some scores on their team. Just wasn't their night. Larkins, short, gets a back, rejected by Meyer. Inside to Missouri, left it short. And that's a final, and believe it or not, the men's final and the women's final are the exact same. Would you 73 look at that? to 55.